Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Super Sunday here on Sunnage Gaming. It's another quarterfinal of the Celebrity FIFA Cup today between Hell FC and Sports Stars. Very excited for the game to come. Alan Smith, as always, is beside me in the commentary booth, of course. Alan, how excited are you for today's game? Yeah, pretty, pretty averagely excited this one. I'm burning out a bit, but uh, I'm sure I'll find something to perk me up. So both teams just having a quick conflab before kickoff, which we're about to bring you. Make sure to join us next, and it's live. And so starting for Hell FC in goal today is Satan once again. Back four of Jimmy Savile, Bill Cosby, Ivan the Terrible and Joseph Fritzlitz. Adolf Hitler on the right. Uh, Idi Amin and Harvey Weinstein in central midfield with Bin Laden left. And it's Raoul Moat joined by Judas Iscariot up front today. Uh, a couple of new additions to the starting lineup since last time round. The uh, Hell FC manager has decided to uh, rotate the squad a little bit for this quarter final. For Sports Stars in goal for them, it's Tyson Fury. Back four of Tim Henry. When Holt Hogan, Steve Austin, and Chris Akabusi. Three in the midfield Emmanuel Frimpong, Mike Tyson, and Monty Panasar. And it's three in attack as well with Mo Farah and Usain Bolt either side of Phil the Power Taylor, a big target man up front for them. Alan Smith, do you have any predictions for the game today? I think either one of the teams will win. Um, and yeah, that's it. So Raul Moat gets us underway here with Hell FC playing from left to right in this first half. And Jimmy Savile straight away showing a bit of uh, cool footwork to find Harvey oh. Weinstein. And now here's Judas Iscariot. Mike Tyson plays it clear to the left-hand side. Now Usain Bolt. There's a bit of a pace oh, mismatch between him and Jimmy Savile. He's absolutely raced past him here down the left-hand side. Is there an end product? Usain Bolt cutting in from the left. He's got past Bill Cosby as well. It's Usain Bolt. Oh, oh dear, but it flies wide in the end. But uh, early promise there from Bolt down the left-hand side. Oh yeah, he's got a good track record, but he can't finish to save his life. Satan plays the goal kick short to Ivan the Terrible, and it's quite unfortunate really given his name, but he has had a pretty bad season so far. Yeah, irony really, I mean, Ivan the total crap. So Mo Farah to take the corner Hurry here. Hurry up! He's uh, taking quite a while to stand over this corner, maybe just trying to pick out uh, the best target in the middle. Still standing over it, but some time wasting. Even I don't! Maybe going on here in, <sighs> in the 13th minute. In comes the corner. Oh. Then towards Usain Bolt! Oh. oh, it was a free header. Really decent chance there for Bolt, but he's blazed the header over. Ivan the Terrible now finds Bill Cosby, and here's Harvey Weinstein coming off the back of such a good game, of course, against Heaven United last time out for Hell FC. He's looking to get the ball again here, but Monty Panesar intercepts it and gets past him as well. Monty Panesar here playing it to Mike Tyson. Bill Cosby, Ooh. though, with a fabulous challenge, winning the ball back. Didn't catch him sleeping there as he brings the ball forward. He's got Hitler on the right, looking to cut inside past Akabusi maybe, but he's been dispossessed. Chris Akabusi now taking on Bill Cosby, oh. who goes in and it uh, looked like he might have won the Cynical. ball, but the referee's called it back for a foul. Just a talking to there for Bill Cosby. Mm, Bill Cosby needs a lot more than a talking to, if you ask me. But a good block from Ivan the Terrible, and it's play clear to Harvey Weinstein. Great challenge, though, from Hulk Hogan, who's been magnificent at the back so oh, far. Yeah, Hulk Hogan's been unplayable. Oh, and uh, Usain Bolt there with a great effort that just goes over, and it's being called back as well here. The first yellow card of the game being presented there to Adolf Hitler, who uh, went in with a very late challenge there. Yeah, it's one thing to try and dominate a tackle, another thing to try and dominate the world. Satan standing over the goal kick here for Hell FC. It's punted upfield, but uh, Hulk Hogan again, massive header, one in defence there. And now Harvey Weinstein picks out Raoul Moat, who's looking to refind his uh, goal scoring form after not scoring in the last couple of games. Now Idi Armin back to Raoul Moat. He's looking back for Armin, but Hulk Hogan there once again. What a game he's having so far. Well, I love him. I love him to bits, and I hope I can see him after the game and tell him how much I love him as well. Here's Idi Amin, who of course has been brought in for this game after being slightly estranged from the first team with uh, Hell FC recently. Do you see him having an influence on this game? Alan I Smith? do, and weirdly enough, he looks just like my cat, Mr Jumbles. Mike Tyson now, and uh, well, it's a great run being made here off the ball by Mo Farah down the right-hand side. It's a bit of a two-on-two -two as he gets to the penalty area, plays it oh. across, and Phil the Power Taylor has smashed it into the open net. And early on here, sports stars make the most of their advantage and go 1-0 into the lead. Ah, oh, bullseye! Great running from Mo Farah down the right-hand side, and an easy finish in the end. Open goal for Phil the Power Taylor, who slams it in. Satan is dismayed with his defence, but you can't argue that sports stars have deserved it so far. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think they have, and uh, I think Satan he will return to the depths of hell and contemplate his performance tonight so far. He's been total rubbish. 
Adolf Hitler, who turns. Good little bit of footwork from him there as well, taking on Usain Bolt, oh. who absolutely slams into him. And I think the free kick's been given there, deep on the uh, right-hand touchline, Usain Bolt on <coughs> Adolf Hitler. <coughs> oh, Alan, you feeling all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I need this job, so don't tell anyone. What, have you been feeling feverish or anything recently? Or No, no, I checked the NHS and they said that uh, bleeding out of your rectum's not a sign, so all good. Hitler with the free kick playing it in into a dangerous area, just about dealt with, but it's headed back in there to Harvey Weinstein on the volley. Oh, oh well, he caught it really well. Good effort there from Weinstein, who, of course, is coming off the back of a great performance and a goal against Heaven United in the last match. Tyson Fury smashing the goal kick forward as uh, sports stars looking to assert a bit more dominance on the game here. Monty Panesar, who's been uh, playmaking really well from the centre of the park and Phil the power Taylor. Oh, he's oh. been giving it by having the terrible Gotta big be. chance here for Taylor. Oh. But a good save from Satan. That could so easily have been 2-0 there. Oh, I could have. And if he just kicked that in the net, it would have been 2-0. Well, there is half time. Oh. And, uh, well, Gary Neville, have you got any comments about the first half? Uh, not really. How would you like the chance to win an all-expenses-paid trip to the Maldives? 30 grand in tax-free cash and two tickets to the European Championship final. Well, so would we, but that's not happening. Instead, if you leave a comment below now with the words Gary Glitter is crap, we will choose a winner at random to be able to pick a player to appear in the Celebrity FIFA Cup final. That's right, it could be anybody you like. It could be you, it could be your dog. We'll pick a winner at random and get in touch with you and you can choose a player to appear in the Celebrity FIFA Cup final. Leave a comment down below now. Gary Glitter is crap. And uh, in one of the next videos, we will announce the winner. So second half underway here and the teams are all out and ready to go. Hey, Alan, what, what are you doing? What? That's my job. I'm going to have a crack, you know. Change it up. Ha! Uh, well, Julius Iscariot giving a yellow card very early Ooh. in the second half there. Another late challenge from one of the Hell FC players and Judas, well, not oh, dear me. He's a little sneaky little bastard, little squirrel. So a couple of changes being made very early in the second half here. Idi Amin, uh, who's uh, been brought in for Pablo Escobar for this game in the starting lineup, is being replaced by him now. And for sports stars, Tim Henman goes off at right back to be replaced by Eddie the Eagle. So a couple of new additions to the pitch for both teams as Eddie the Eagle's first contribution to the game oh, is to smash is it forward. It's a poor free kick and now Harvey Weinstein picks out uh, Pablo Escobar whose first touch is this from coming off the bench. It's a lovely ball as well to find Osama Bin Eagles Laden down the done. left. What's he going to do here? What? Eddie the Eagle dives in. still Osama Bin Laden. Can he find anybody with the ball? Well, Frimpong just about got back to intercept it. And now Mo Farah finds Mike Tyson but it's a horrendous oh, challenge from Harvey Weinstein. The referee plays on and uh, Monty Panesar now looking for Usain Bolt but Jimmy Savile who so far actually has dealt with Usain Bolt pretty well yeah, yes, you'd expect Usain to be a lot quicker than Savile but looks like Jimmy's got a bit of pace Escobar finding Bin Laden now Judas Iscariot who's looking to turn here he gives it back to Pablo Escobar back to Judas it's a lovely move and he squares it it's oh, Raul Moat and Raul Moat slides it underneath the keeper and equalises for Hell FC well he doesn't often go a game without scoring and Raul Moat's done it again I oh, can't believe that you see Iscariot portrays the defence and bang, Moti's got one. Look at this, it's a great finish from Raul Moat through the legs of Tyson Fury in goal. Did really well oh, to finish from that tight angle. Furious with that. <laughs> so Raul Moat celebrates the equaliser. Lovely goal, wasn't it, Alan? It was, and he's been absolutely Raul Moat! Well, the Sports Stars manager, very unhappy with Tyson Fury after that goal. He was nutmegged in the lead up to it, and uh, he's been replaced straight away by Shaquille O'Neal who uh, has a, a massive frame himself and uh, hopefully will provide a bit more cover for the sports star's defence. Here's Pablo Escobar and we heard that uh, Oscar Pistorius was due to come on but there's been some sort of incident in the uh, changing rooms. Is there anything more you can tell us about that, Gary Neville? I just think they were going to go with Pistorius but he was trying to get in the bathroom and struggling, a bit of a queue so I can't see him coming on anytime soon. Another yellow card being produced here, this time for Emmanuel Frimpong who is oh, known to frimmy. be a bit impetuous and uh, you've got to say that was a bad challenge. Awful challenge. I think he needs to calm down, you know. Maybe take some uh, some of what I've got in my pocket, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm not sure that would calm him down, though, would it? Well, maybe not, effect. but uh, worth a try. So with all the panic buying that's been going on recently, Alan, I know you were struggling to find uh, ingredients for your sandwiches last time out. What have you brought for lunch this time around? Well, you say that, but uh, I've managed to get some sprouts and marmite, and I've chucked that in a baguette. Yum! 
Escobar now playing it in field to Harvey Weinstein. What a difference Pablo Escobar has made to the team since he's come on and he gets it back here and finds Osama Bin Laden looking maybe to play the cross and he gets past the challenge. It's Bin Laden playing it in oh, and yeah. Judas Iscariot comes in at the near post. Shaquille O'Neal got a hand to it but couldn't keep it out and Judas Iscariot has turned this game on its head just like he's just turned on his head there. It's 2-1. Oh. It might be sneaky but it works. It's really worked this time. I still hate him though. Well, Osama Bin Laden did really well, got past Hulk Hogan, which is not easy, played it into the near post, and first time Judas Iscariot just manages to squeeze it under Shaquille O'Neal, who was very unlucky. Well, Judas, of course, who was offered a massive great contract uh, to move away from his boyhood club Manchester City to join Hell FC. And, uh, well, the fans weren't happy with it, were they, when they when he left? No, they weren't. Mo Farah to take the corner on the right-hand side. It's played in towards the six-yard box, and oh. Hulk Hogan heads it down into the ground, and it just goes up over the bar. Actually, it was stone-cold Steve Austin with the header. Oh, almost but, uh, a stunner. Satan to take the goal kick for Hell FC, who are sitting pretty in the lead at the moment. After a poor first half, they've really turned it around in the second half. But Phil, the power tailor, looking to change that with Mike Tyson going through. But Bill Cosby just about gets rid of it. Ivan the Terrible now looking to clear, but he can't get rid of it himself. And in the end, he just wins it back and finds Pablo Escobar. Lovely turn to get past Emmanuel Frimpong in the centre here. Escobar, who's looked great since coming off the bench. He's still going. It's another lovely ball as well to find Osama Bin Laden. Is there a good end product here? Oh, oh well, Chris Akabusi just about dealt with it. And then uh, it's cleared, but only as far as Pablo Escobar. Now is Harvey Weinstein. Oh. And a great save from Shaquille O'Neal to deny Weinstein the goal. So substitutions to be made again before this corner is taken. Adolf Hitler and Jimmy Savile both leaving the field for Hell FC and Gary what? Glitter and Rolf Harris come on. Thought... And it's Phil Taylor being replaced by Randy Orton for Sports Stars. Gary Glitter seems to have I not can't believe to it. Why? Shaquille O'Neal to take the goal kick out to Hulk Hogan and now Emmanuel Frimpong in the middle sports stars looking desperately to get an equaliser here as the clock ticks past 85 minutes Monty Panesar finds Mike Tyson it's a poor first touch though and Ivan the Terrible able to deal with it but here's Frimpong getting it back and then Harvey Weinstein intercepting now here's Pablo Escobar Gary Glitter over on the right hand side but he decides to pass to Judas Iscariot instead oh. lovely bit of footwork from him and here comes Osama Bin Laden who looks to be on side looks to play in towards Gary Glitter oh, oh and he slid in in the end it was Chris Akabusi Oh, what a mistake it is from Akabusi though, he's given it away. It's Judas, oh. and it's 3-1. He's slammed it in at the near post. Gary Glitter so nearly scored, but Chris Akabusi, well, what a mistake to give it away to Raul Moat. You can't be doing that with him around. Oh, you can't, but Gary Glitter, fucking useless twat. Well, Chris Akabusi, I've no idea what he had in his mind there. He gave it straight to Raul Moat, and first time Judas has slammed that in. You've got to say, it's a great finish. Shaquille O'Neal, no chance. No chance at all, and it all came from Gary Glitter being useless and pathetic. Osama Bin Laden intercepts the ball here, and I think that could be just about it. Four minutes of stoppage time, nearly up, as Eddie the Eagle plays it in field to Mo Farah. But the clock ticks towards 94 minutes, and there is the full-time whistle. Hell FC come from a goal behind to win this in the end 3-1 a Judas Iscariot inspired comeback what a game that was though in there through to the semi-finals well yeah another week of Gary Glitter can't wait so as the players leave the field 3-1 the final score to Hell FC over Sports Stars they progress to the semi-finals Sports Stars unfortunately are out but a really good effort from them today it was a very well fought contest but just uh, for some reason the second half uh, Hell FC came absolutely flying out the gates and uh, scored three goals in the space of the second period. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Remember, in the top right-hand corner of the video right now, you can vote for your man of the match as to who you think was the best player in this game. We will announce the winner of that and go through all the analysis and top goal scorers, all that sort of thing, on Wednesday evening when we have our Celebrity FIFA Cup Roundup show. But until then, from me, Sunnish Gaming, and from Alan Smith, thank you very much for watching. Alan, any parting words? No. See you soon. Bye.